how to run an Ethereum Classic node using DAP node. What is a blockchain node? Blockchains are peer-to-peer -peer networks of computers where each node is a machine running a software client that enables it to communicate with other nodes. All new transaction data is transmitted to all participating machines and is replicated in all of them. Consensus on which is the latest state of the database, also known as the blockchain, is reached through a consensus mechanism, which may usually be a proof of work or proof of stake algorithm. Because the security paradigm of blockchains is to replicate the same identical database in as many machines as possible, so there may be as much redundancy and self-verification as possible without the need to trust third parties, then more nodes in as many diverse regions, cultures, and parts of the world as possible, the better. A blockchain node, then the more nodes. <clears throat> Two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How to run an Ethereum Classic node using DAP node. What is a blockchain node? Blockchains are peer-to-peer -peer networks of computers where each node is a machine running a software client that enables it to communicate with other nodes. All new transaction data is transmitted to all participating machines and is replicated in all of them. Consensus on which is the latest state of the database, also known as the blockchain, is reached through a consensus mechanism, which may usually be a proof of work or proof of stake algorithm. Because the security paradigm of blockchains is to replicate the same identical database in as many machines as possible, so there may be as much redundancy and self-verification as possible without the need to trust third parties, then the more nodes in as many diverse regions, cultures, and parts of the world as possible, the better. A blockchain node is one of these participating machines running the software client that contains a protocol to be able to be a member of the network. Benefits of running a node as blockchains have minor nodes and verifying nodes, to run more verifying nodes also increases the security of the network. Running a node provides higher security to users and DApp developers as well. It is also very important for exchanges, investors, institutions, and general blockchain services. Running a node is a way to access the blockchain directly, thus more securely, to query accounts, balances, and dApps, and to send transactions. By accessing the network directly rather than through trusted third parties, end users, developer teams, and all other economic node operators gain the highest degree of security possible because they may query the chain and send transactions without risk of fraud. As long as there is, a, there is an internet connection, in a proof-of-work blockchain as Ethereum Classic ETC, running a node provides the highest degree of censorship resistance and permissionlessness uh, when interacting with the system. What is DAP node? Because running nodes is relatively costly due to the size of the blockchain, an ETC full node size is currently around 80 gigabytes, it is difficult to run them on regular computers, much less on machines that are meant for daily use. To solve this problem, there are companies that have developed very practical specialized devices that are only dedicated to running blockchain nodes. DapNode is one such company with its product, DapNode Home, which is a device that connects to the local Wi-Fi network at home or office, and from there uses Users may set up different blockchain nodes, including ETC. Use cases of that DAP node with Ethereum Classic. As said before, running your own node has higher security guarantees than using trusted third parties, gives higher control to users and teams, and it is faster than using remote cloud node services. 
Some of the use cases for running an ETC node on DAP node are the following. Your local wallet. Instead of using third parties, users may have their non-custodial wallet in their local machines connect to the blockchain through their own direct nodes. Access globally. DAP node may be set up to provide access through VPN connection to its users, even if they are away anywhere in the world. Make public. The node may be set up as a public endpoint, providing access to the blockchain to the public. Your DAP. DAP developer teams may use their DAP node to provide access to the chain for the DAPs so they don't have to depend on the large centralized cloud node providers. Automatic updates. DAP node may be set up to update the Ethereum Classic software client automatically, so no upgrades, bug fixes, or hard, fork, hard forks are missed. Censorship resistant. By running a full node, the level of security achieved is the highest possible. 1. Get DAP node and install it. To run an ETC mainnet or testnet core get node, the first thing you need to do is to buy a DAP node home at this address. dapnode.com slash shop. When you get the device, you may, you, you may have to set it up uh, you have to set it up by following the instructions and connect it to your local Wi-Fi at home or office. 2. Check out the dashboard. Once set up, the DAP node instructions will let you know how to connect to the device through your web browser. When you type the local area network address, you will see the home of your local DAP node and you will land on the dashboard. In the sample dashboard below, we have already installed the ETC core get for the mortar testnet. In the next few sections, we will show how to connect an ETC core get mainnet node. Three, install the Ethereum Classic core get mainnet node. To begin with, go to the DAP store tab on the left menu. There you will see a search field where you will type Ethereum Classic so that the two packages of ETC core get will appear below. As you may see, the mortar version is already installed. To install the mainnet version, click on get. Press install. 4. Press install. In the next screen, you will see the install button and some information about the ETC core get node client. Press install. 5. See install stats. In the next screen, you will see the status of the download. 6. See your chains on the dashboard. If you go to the dashboard tab on the left menu again, you will see the mortar instance and now the new mainnet instance as well. The blockchain takes a few hours to download. 7. Check out the Grafana dashboard stats. In the meantime, you may want to check out the Grafana dashboards to see the node stats when it is running. To go to the Grafana dashboard, click on the Packages tab on the left menu and then select DMS. 8. Click on Dashboards. In the next screen, you need to click on the dms.dapnote slash dashboards link. 9. Select the ETC mainnet core get instance. In the next screen, you will, you will be on the Grafana app that is integrated into your local DAP node and you will see that you may select the mainnet or mortar networks. Select the mainnet network. 10. See all node data. In the next screen, you will see all the stats of your ETC core get mainnet node. In our example, the data was not yet updated, but when, you, uh, but when your node is fully synchronized, it will be populated with the stats. 11. Check out all other blockchain nodes you may run with that node. If you wish to run more nodes such as Bitcoin, Ethereum or others, you may go to the DAP Store tab again on the left menu 
and wait until the page is populated with all the possible node packages for you to choose which one you would like to run. Thank you for watching this Ethereum Classic tutorial. To run an ETC node using DAPNode, go to dapnode.com. To learn more about ETC, go to ethereumclassic.org. Thank you very much.